Hey Leo, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the next two weeks, the first two weeks of July-ish. You know, whenever it hits to whenever it doesn't, that's the time frame, right? But for all intents and purposes, we are looking at the first two weeks of July. So that being said, this is a general reading for the sign of Leo right? It is not for you. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 tarot card reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation until August 1st. After August 1st, I will no longer offer the $50 tarot card readings on YouTube and, um, um, but however, if you've ever had a tarot card reading with me, or if you get one before August 1st, you will be in the $50 club, right? You will forever and always get $50 readings. Um, I will always give my clients that, um, come to me before August 1st, $50 readings. And then after that, they're going to bump up to regular price because I have this radio show going on and it's just too difficult to juggle between, um, the radio show people and the YouTube people and my, um, my regular clients, right? My normal everyday clients. So anyway, um, till August 1st, you can get a $50 reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation. It will lock your place in the $50 club, the VIP club. And, um, you can always schedule a reading for 50 bucks in the future. Okay. All right. So let's get started on this reading. It's pretty direct reading. It's, um, Ah, okay, let's do this, Leo. So you enter this reading feeling self-protective about some passionate messages that have come your way. These passionate messages require some kind of transition in your life, right? Eight of Swords comes in and says you are just caught up in your head, right? In a in a mental restriction, thinking and thinking and thinking about whatever these messages came in that came in that made you feel insecure, right? Queen of Cups tells me that you are very, very much in your feels, not only in your feels, but you have a lot of conflict in your feels as well. This transition, this this communication that came in that makes you feel self-protective uh, results in the death card, right? There is an ending to something, a change, a transformation, a transition. I want to say a transition, okay? Eight of Wands comes in and says movement, action, and swift change, possibly through some communication, takes place in your life and the high priestess comes in and says that you really have to take a knee for a minute. You have to take a knee. You have to stop. You have to think. You have to search your intuition, your subconscious mind, and really dig deep as to see how it is that you're going to handle this situation. Well, Leo, how you handle this situation is the lover's card some kind of relationship in your life some kind of your relation of in a relationship not just a relationship but a third party relationship there are three energies there is one too many in this situation right here one too many hanged man says that you're really indecisive about who it is that you're going to offer your cup of emotions to King of Cups. There you are, Leo, in the middle of your reading, all full of your feels. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Of course, this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, however, this is you, Leo, in this reading, in the center of your reading. It's all about feelings. All of these cards are rotating around your feelings, Leo. Your feelings of anxiety, indecision, and secrets regarding one too many people in one too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Queen of Swords comes in and says that you are being forced to make some kind of a decision, which I think is what this change or this transition is up here, right? You're being forced to make some kind of a decision. With the Hierophant coming in, you're being forced to choose who it is that you're going to commit to. That's what's going on here. You got some messages from somebody that said, you either choose me or I am out. 
It could be vice versa, right? It's a general reading. It could go either way. However, I'm going to say it from the perspective of Leo because it's Leo's reading, right? So you're being forced to commit. Passionate messages came in, made you feel self-defensive, self-protective, and you're going to have to, to, to transition, right? You're going to have to choose something here. Puts you all up in your head with anxiety, all up in your feels, lots of conflict in your feels. Death is a transition. It's going to happen quickly, but you're still not prepared with the high priestess, right? You come down here some kind of a relationship in your life that has one too many people involved. You are super indecisive with the hangman about who it is you're going to give your cup of feels to. King of Cups, all up in your feels right there because you are you have fear and anxiety and um, you, you, you secrets, right, about this third party situation that you absolutely must choose to commit to one or the other. Judgment comes in and says that you choose. You make a decision, right? You make a decision. Six of Wands says you're feeling really, really confident about it. You choose the Queen of Pentacles, um, whatever that is, right? Could be an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be anybody. But whoever this is represents security, stability, and comfort for you. <clears throat> the option you the options the option that you chose is now a priority right so let's reverse these real quick okay um you the you had options now you have a priority and it is this queen of pentacles energy right here ace of pentacles says that you're going to bring forward a an opportunity you you're going to try to have a a committed relationship right here with this queen of pentacles you choose the queen of pentacles you know third party three three energies you have to choose from you choose this one you go forward with the ace of pentacles right manifesting a new opportunity uh manifesting again with the alchemist what are you manifesting a two of cups relationship some kind of unified love unified partnership could be business. I mean, it doesn't have to be love, right? But you're manifesting some kind of partnership. The Ace of Cups comes in and talks about lots of feels, lots of emotion. This is, well, you know, this is, this is what you want to do. Prince of Cups says that you offer your cup of emotions. Second time Prince of Cups has been in here. You offer your cup of emotions. But oh no, Leo, what happens? The Nine of Swords is what happens. Holy schmoly. Despair, anxiety, lamenting, wishing you would have never done it. Because in regards to a relationship situation, there was a tower moment that you weren't expecting. So you offer your cup, you choose which one you're going to go with. You offer your cup of love and they're like, eh, I don't know, Leo, we got to talk. Tower moment in your feels with the King of Cups, right? You gave passionate messages with the Page of Wands. They returned your message with the Page of Swords, which is not so passionate. It's the complete opposite from warm and fuzzy, right? Sent you into contemplation and reevaluation mode because some truth was spoken and now you know with the Ace of Swords there is heartbreak, pain, sorrow, grief, and most importantly, rejection going on here from this King of Pentacles, who was the Queen of Pentacles over here. Eight of Cups comes in, talks about disappointment, hopelessness, and walking away. So this King of Pentacles is walking away. You're, I mean, because they're telling you no, you're walking away, they're walking away. Everybody's being left out in the cold, right? Five of Cups comes in and talks about loss, regret, disappointment, despair, and moving on. Ten of Wands comes in and talks about a burden and a struggle for you. And I wanted to clear, I wanted one more card, but I couldn't get one out of the Rider Waite, so I went to the Tarot Illuminati, and the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords. This is, I'm sorry, the Wands, the Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands is about burden, struggle. Just burden and struggle. 
sorry, Leo. I'm sorry that this was a bad reading for you, but you kind of, it kind of wasn't a bad reading because now you know maybe you should choose the other person. <laughs> Maybe you should just choose the other person and leave this Queen of Pentacles character alone right here. I don't know. But heads up, Leo. Heads up. If things go the way that they're going right now, this could be your potential outcome. So if you have to choose between two people, choose very, very carefully, okay? All right, Leo, that's your reading. If you want one just for you, just for your situation, please don't make life-altering decisions off of a general tarot card reading, okay? It's like poison. It's like eating poison. Don't do that. Get a tarot card reading from your favorite tarot card reader, hopefully that's me, and hook it up just for you, just for your situation. Okay, Leo? Awesome sauce, deepthoughtswithdana.com or the link in the box below. Namaste.